Hello, my name is Tom. Today I'll be working with my Sigma 2 servo amplifier made by Yasakawa. What I will be doing is using the built-in operator panel to jog the motor clockwise and counterclockwise. I'm going to get started and I'm going to scroll down here and show you the materials for today's project and also the project description that I have. If you follow the hyperlink that I have here, it should take you directly to the web page on the Yasukawa website. You can also go to drives.com and navigate through their website. And the project description basically tells you that I'm going to use the operator interface on the servo amplifier to jog the motor clockwise and counterclockwise. Now I'm going to scroll down here and show you the step-by-step -step guide here. And in step one, we'll be entering into the auxiliary function mode. And step two, we'll be selecting function mode 0, 0, 2. And then we will enter the jog mode in step three. And in step four, I will be closing the power contactor in the drive. If you look at the picture that I have here, there is a dash in figure number two in the last section here of the display. And in step four, in figure three, there is no dash. So that means that with the dash, that the drive is still in base block, although the display reads jog. So when you close that contactor, it applies power to the motor, and you are no longer in base block. So I'm going to come down here to step five. In step five, I will be jogging the motor. And in step six, I will return the amplifier back to the off state. As you can see here in figure number five, I have a dash here, which means the amplifier is in base block. And here in step seven, I will be returning you to the auxiliary function display. So with that being said, we're going to go to the video. Here I have a servo motor that I would like to jog in the clockwise and counterclockwise rotation. First, I need to place the amplifier into the auxiliary function mode. So I will press the mode set button. This is the button on the left. Now that I have the auxiliary function displayed, I will use the up arrow button to display function 0, 0, 2. With function 0, 0, 2 displayed, I will press and hold the data button. This is the button on the right until jog is displayed. Now that I have jog displayed, I need to enable the jog function. Right now, the amplifier is in base block. And how I know this is by the dash mark on the far left side of the display. So I will press the mode set button. This is the button on the left. Now I have the jog function enabled, the dash mark is gone, and I have power to my motor. Now to make the motor jog in the counterclockwise rotation, I will press and hold the up arrow button. When I want to stop, I will release the button. Now I will jog the motor in the clockwise rotation, so I will press and hold the down arrow button. And there you have it. We've jogged the motor in the clockwise and in the counterclockwise rotation. Now I need to disable the jog function. To do this, I can press and hold the data button 
and that will take me back to the auxiliary function mode and remove power from the motor or I can press the mode set button this is the button on the left and it will lead me in the jog display but it will also put the amplifier back into base block and remove power from the motor okay that wasn't too bad so if you like my video or you learned something let me know leave a comment otherwise I'll see you next video